Uh, good morning. Welcome to one more webinar from the European Union SME Center. Today, we want to present a solution to sell cross-border in China via an online WeChat shop. For that, we have with us Mr. Felin Meath from Emerald Green Consulting. Good morning, Felin. Uh, good evening, Rafa. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm sorry to make you being wake up so late, but we appreciate your cooperation to explain your solution. Uh, well, let I'm us, good morning. We can start to make this is a very short webinar. Uh, we can start saying that there are two ways to export to China. Uh, general trade and cross-border trade. General trade is is costly, is time-consuming, takes long time. So we described today a quick solution done via cross-border trade. I have compiled uh, for viewers of this webinar all sort of advantages of, of cross-border trade over general trade. Uh, let me show two real uh, shops in WeChat. Uh, operating via cross-border trade. One of the WeChat shop, the one in the left, is in the mother care, baby care segment, while the other one that appears on the right of the screen, they are selling directly from Denmark products related with uh, uh, the Danish design and the Danish lifestyle. In, in both cases, the products are shipped either from Europe to a bonded warehouse in a free trade zone, or ship directly to the consumer. By the way, uh, if I'm not drawn, the WeChat shop on the left is uh, Emerald Green Baby, and our speaker today, Mr. Felin Mead, is the co-founder of such company. Is that correct, Felin? Yep, that's correct, Rafa. So, Felin, would, would you explain to us the solution to uh, to sell in China via cross-border WeChat shop? Uh, you say there are several steps, so probably you want to go through these steps. Uh, but I guess first you want to go, and I give you uh, the microphone, you want to go sure. through the flow of goods and the flow of payments, which are of interest for viewers. Uh, I believe this is the correct uh, flow, and I give you now the microphone. So uh, please go ahead. Sure. Great. Well, um, one of the um, a lot of products that are coming into China for the first time, the Chinese consumer doesn't know about them. Um, so the Chinese consumer has to uh, get a, um, has to be educated on the uh, on the products um, and has to build up trust in the products. And the easiest way to do this to be able to for international brands and from European brands to build up education and trust is to do it uh, online through e-commerce. Um, and what we've done is that we have set up a, a, uh, an online shop, uh, cross-border e-commerce, um, uh, for the mother baby health and beauty sector. And what we have basically done is, is that we have forward shipped all of our products into our warehouse um, in China. A customer then will go on to the WeChat platform, will actually buy the product, and then we can then distribute that within five days nationwide uh, to China to the consumer. So that's ultimately what this is. What this diagram shows. It's just basically getting the product into a bonded warehouse, into a free trade zone, um, and getting it to the consumer. The obviously critical part then is actually the payments. So um, a customer is actually going to is is going to go onto the WeChat platform and is going to be buying in RMB. Uh, obviously, then what we have done is that we have, uh, uh, through a payment gateway, uh, we're able to take that RMB, convert it into euro, and then bring that back into a European bank account. So this is done through a payment gateway, um, and it's linked into our, our WeChat shop and linked into our bank, bank account. Um, and there's a seamless flow then of both orders uh, of of money in RMB being converted into euro and coming back then into into our bank account. In, So there are a number of blocks that you need to go if you want to try to uh, to trade. The first one and the most important one probably is to register your trademark. Um, uh, you can register both the trademark and you could also register your your logo and um, and any devices and and, and your work uh, and your uh, your logo, as I said, in both um, English or whatever language and and Chinese. 
Um, but it's one of the first blocks that you have to do. And uh, we'd sort of say it's probably the first thing that you have to do if you're, if you're serious about going into to China. Um, the second thing that you need to look at doing is then is setting up an official WeChat account. Um, and that's just an indication there of what, a, of what the official account looks like. The second, th the third thing uh, to do then is to maybe set up uh, an actual shop, uh, a WeChat shop. Um, so you set up your official account first, and then you set up a, a WeChat shop again, which is uh, this is our um, Emerald Green Baby uh, uh, shop on the, that sits on the WeChat platform. Again, a very very important thing is that Rafa pointed out at the top, at the start of the the, the, the presentation is that there are two ways to sell into China. There's general trade and there's online. But regardless of what way you decided to do it, is that every product has to be registered for CIQ, so customs inspection and quarantine. Um, so the process for going online and the CIQ process for going online is so much easier. Um, uh, you, still have to, uh, you still have to apply. It still has to be applied in, in, in Chinese. Um, you have a little bit of work to do, but it's 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 about a four to six week um, lead time to do it, and it's relatively inexpensive. Whereas if you go in general trade, it's it's very expensive and can take twelve to sixteen months, eighteen months to get it done. So that's why we would suggest that the the, the online cross border is the is the is the way that brands should start um, start to look at China, and as a first step, should be looking at the WeChat platform. Um, obviously, then you need good logistics. Um, and what we do is that we have linked our WeChat shop back to our logistics and linked it back then to our Dublin office so that we are able to then, as soon as an order comes through, it comes to our mobile phones. It also goes to our warehouse. Then our warehouse automatically uh, ship that out, generate a tracking number. That tracking number sends a message via WeChat back to the, the consumer. Uh, an email comes back to Dublin, and we're able to then reconcile and cross-reference deliveries versus uh, versus dispatch, just to make sure that we don't miss anything. Uh, and obviously, then too, you can just see here about the payments. The consumer then will buy in or MB, and this is just a highlight of someone buying on our on our on our site. And then, as I say, we have a, a payment gateway which enables then that RMB from that purchase to be converted into euros and then brought back into Europe. Um, it takes transaction plus four days to bring that back into the European bank account. And you can set it up any way you want in that you can set it up that you do it every month or you can do it after a certain number of orders or you can do it after um, a certain amount of money has been spent and is in your, in, in your gate, uh, payment gateway. So again, that's very, very flexible. But again, we have done all of these building blocks uh, that, that is in this presentation from A to Z. So, Philip, if I understand well, all is done with these blocks that you have described, right? And this is the slide showing uh, integrated the flow of goods and the flow of payments. Thank you very much. Now, uh, please introduce the WeChat Shop Solution Service to implement all the things we have discussed in the previous slides. I'll go ahead, please. Well, obviously, it's taken us three years to um, of selling into China, and there's been a lot of um, false starts, and there's been a lot of pathways that we've gone down. But we realized after a year of actually selling and setting up and, and retailing on, on the WeChat platform um, that we actually have in some ways crack the nut of, of how you can sell into China without having physically being into China. Um, and what we've worked in conjunction with yourselves with the, the EU SME Center is to provide a, a, a solution that will allow SMEs anywhere within the 28 member states to basically do the A to Z exactly as we've outlined and using all of the partners that we've used um, to actually access China. So that if you are a company that is China ready and that you have a China strategy, well, then we can get you trading on in China online uh, and doing all of the elements of the of, of, of getting you trading online from the registering to setting up the accounts to trademarking your product to setting up the payment gateways doing the logistics but also more importantly too is helping with the actual marketing of that 
So that is a that is a is a, is a total package that we offer, um, and we've broken it down into three different um, solutions: a bronze, silver, and gold. Not not every company is actually going to want to retail uh, and set up an actual e-commerce site. Some will just want to set up a a, a, a WeChat official account, um, and they might be advertising to to Chinese uh, domestic Chinese um, consumers. An example of that would be um, would be a museum um, uh, or, or or some tour operator in Europe. That might want to set up a, a platform, a, um, a WeChat official account, and be able to put content onto that official account, and maybe do uh, our QR codes and offers, so that when Chinese consumers come over to visit that uh, tourist uh, destination, is that they've already heard about it, they've already got a coupon, and um, it's just a, it's just a way of reaching out to consumer to Chinese consumers, and, and again, the growth of Chinese consumers, I think, and, and, and tourists is. Is something that we all know. The silver and the gold. The difference really is is just the amount of money that's spent on marketing through Weibo and WeChat and KOLs. So they're they're very similar. They in that it's the same functionality, but it's just more marketing between the silver and the gold. Okay, thank you, Felim. So we have analyzed uh, that solution that you implement. Uh, thank you again. This was our webinar of today. Of course, for viewers, if they want to know more details about this WeChat solution, just please send an email to the email address that is on the screen. Uh, once again, thank you, Felim. Have all a very nice day. Goodbye now from the European Union SME Center. Okay, night-night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.